Cool. There you go. Welcome back to some Steamy Saturdays bonus. We got Tom for an extra little bit until he has to zoom home. Steamy Saturdays extra. So I just wanted to load up that Blade Runner thing and see what it is. I think it's like supposed to be a VR. Sorry, I've just got a little bowl of farts here. Let me. <laughs> it literally does smell, smell like, like farts. a bowl of farts. Mm. Is there some like. What is it? Is it like couscous and broccoli or something? A cauliflower. Oh, cauliflower. Couscous. Yeah, it's like. It's a good idea, you know? But. God, it smells like farts. Mm. It tastes like farts, too. Mm. <laughs> Should I keep eating farts? Because I do. Who doesn't like eating farts? Just give you a big mouthful of farts. <laughs> 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 I honestly like. Can what was it the other the other day? I remember I was eating a bowl of farts <laughs> in the office, and Tom's like, "God, that that really smells awful." But you're wolfing it. I was like, I was like, I was like, yeah. I was like after streaming like five minutes, I'm like just swallowing this yeah. mega bowl of farts. Kind of looks like cereal, doesn't it? Mm. It's not very nice cereal. What's your favourite kind of cereal? Do you have like a preferred? I I am I'm a porridgeman. Porridgeman. I like a nice, especially in winter. It's cold. I like the um the, the microwavable oats so simple sachets that you can get. Oh. You pour that out. You put in some milk of your choice. But you can maybe add oat milk. But I feel like that's a little bit perverse. too oaty. Mm. Yeah, adding Double adding oats. oat milk into your porridge oats. Very perverted. You can add like soy milk, coconut milk. I don't like. Don't recommend either of those. I recommend rice milk. It's quite nice. It's quite sweet. So, because I don't really like porridge, so I, I'm one of these people who, when I grew up, when I was a kid, when I was a boy, I used to wake up in the freezing cold, bloody morning. My dad said to me, "Don't drink. You drink water out that hot tap, <laughs> or else you're gonna get sick. You'll get the plague." He said to me. So I said, "Okay, Dad." And so um, he got he got me up early, and I had, I had my two Weetabix in a bowl. And what I would do is I would add whenever you, if you're a Weetabixman, okay, you will know the art of pouring uh, milk onto your Weetabix in such a manner that you don't want to get it too soggy, but you don't want to keep it too dry. Yeah, yeah. You just need to balance. moisten the Weetabix through in a in a certain way, okay. Mm, and then obviously the difficulty as well is that most people eat Weetabix because it's one of those sugars. It's one of those um, cereals that's unsweetened, right? There's no sugar involved. Yeah, yeah. Or anything. It's very it's supposed to be healthy, but everyone then, especially as a kid, Bam. Oh. needs to put sugar Throw on. Throw some sugar on it or some honey. Honey is a nice one. I never was a honey. You can't just waste honey on a breakfast. You know, I was allowed. You could just think of the bloody bees. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't as a kid. I, it wasn't even considered that honey would be added to Weetabix. That's that's, that's very upper class. Oh. I had a teaspoon of granulated sugar, you know, very carefully sprinkled across each Weetabix um, on the top of it. And then, so basically I would pour enough milk into the bowl that there was no milk left in the bowl. It was all soaked up, but the Weetabix were, were soaked through enough that they weren't crunchy. Oh. It's a really art artistic thing. And I tell you, if you can get it working, great. You can buy honey Weetabix now. See, obviously honey someone- Honey Weetabix. Someone, it's a class war on. So uh, this was back in Lebanon, obviously. No, mm -hmm. um, no. So I um, currently recommend a porridge, but with no sugar. I don't want to add any sugar. But instead, what you can do is you can chop up a banana in there. So this morning, I put in a, a, a porridge with oat with rice milk. So I'm trying to be not eating, drinking too much milk. I don't believe in drinking milk. I was watching a documentary on Netflix the other day called Rotten. Okay, it's like a six-part documentary. It's about Lots of different things. And I thought it was one of the worst things I've ever seen. It was absolutely, it was a really bad, it was a very meandering documentary that didn't really, sort of went off topic straight away and down these strange alleyways. And so it was supposed to be talking about peanut allergies, peanuts and stuff. And then it just went off onto the most bizarre topic. Anyway, I didn't, I didn't, I, th I thought they were all rubbish. If you've seen it on Netflix, let me know. But I thought it was crap. Um, and one of the things that they were like was like, Milk is incredibly good for you and nutritious and it's fortified and it's filled with it's calcium and all this crap and it's like totally not true. No? No, milk isn't good for you. And in fact, you're not even allowed to say that it's good for you. It's not It's not really even like nutritious. I mean, it, it stops you. It's, it's, a, it's food, right? But it's not. There's a reason they don't serve it to kids in schools anymore, right? I thought that's because it's like too expensive. Milk? <laughs> it's not expensive. But for Mineral kids, water is more expensive. They give 
kids, you know. Water costs some more. Than milk. Water straight from the warm tap. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Anyway, milk's not not good for you. Bo, Lewis, don't drink two. milk. It's fine if you're um. Not even once. It's fine if you're a baby cow. If you're a baby cow, drink as much milk as you can get. I would advise it. What um, about breast milk? Milk. Can you have that? On, Mammary milk. On your porridge. In your Weetabix. I don't know. I've never tried it. I wouldn't like to. No? Well, I'm not a, a baby. A human baby. I'm a human man. You're not like some like human. An adult, <laughs> an adult baby. I'm not that. Anyway, <laughs> rice milk no, is we're going the way. Down that route. Okay. <laughs> and so I had a chop of banana in there. I had a few blueberries left that were going a bit soft. Chucked them in there. Gave them big. Uh, I was quite aggressive with the stir, so they all get like bumped up and squashed up. But top notch breakfast. That's my breakfast of choice. What about you? Um, so normally I don't eat breakfast, but I've been trying to be a bit more eat a breakfast and so every morning on the work walk into work I eat an apple and a banana the work the walk I work, work. the, the work. walk walk uh, and I've, I've got it times now really well a banapple did you say a banapple mm -hmm. the banapple combo a banana and an apple yeah one after the other so you eat a banapple on the walk the walk the walk um, <laughs> and so before I'd always eat the banana first alright but I find I eat the banana quicker, and then I have to walk for about, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute holding a banana peel before I come to the first rubbish bin. Right. But if I eat the apple, I find that I eat an apple slower, and it times up perfectly for me to deposit the apple core in the bin, and then eat the banana, and then there's another bin later I on mean, that I can put, it, put the banana peel in. If you walk past like a bush, would you consider chucking the core or the banana peel into that bush? So, yes. Because <clears throat> um, I go through um, Castle Park. Mm -hmm. And um, you're always seeing like squirrels and stuff foraging around. Mm. There's loads of birds. I don't have any problem with throwing an apple core. But if there's a lot of people around, I won't do it. Into what? Like, the... like throw it into like the bushes. I mean, I would chuck it into a bush, yeah, where no one could see it. I wouldn't just chuck it onto like a grass verge or something. Or yeah, yeah, a just the bed. open grass. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not. But no, there's lots of like bushes and stuff around. Yeah. But if there's a lot of people near you, I think they they wouldn't necessarily know that it's an apple core and they just think that you're a scumbag. Well, this is what happened. Litter I got told off a... once for chucking an apple apple core into like into a wood. The woods. Into a, a wood a woody area, a wooded area. I think I was in a car. Getting, I think it was after I was got picked. For some reason, I remember getting picked up in a car, going home from a convention, like insomnia or whatever. And I'd spent the whole day signing stuff. And obviously, we go home on Sunday. And I got in the car, and I think I was like, I like had an apple, and I opened the window and I lobbed the apple out of the window into like the foresty bit in the verge. And I, I think it, I think it made it. <laughs> <laughs> it might have hit those old ladies waiting for a bus. Anyway, someone told me off. I'm like, what are you doing, littering? And I'm like, well. well it's like apple core. This is nutrients. I mean, they should be paying me to, you know, fertilize. I'm gonna pull over. I'm gonna go and g get a squirrel, and I'm gonna hang him upside down until a penny comes out of his, uh, his <laughs> and then I'm gonna take that as payment. That's it. Acorns. I mean, pennies. A acorns. I'm gonna pennies. take five acorns worth for that yes. apple core. Yeah, because you've you've added added to the circle of life right there. Yeah, those mushrooms and stuff are all gonna benefit. You know, that's a delicious treat for like a lot of animals. They come along. Mm, delicious well, bit of apple. You shouldn't eat apple cores. That's I don't, my Aunt Rose. I hate Remember that. She went mad. I told this story recently. She ate, what, like just like a hundred apple cores in one sitting. I told this story. What, who did I tell this story to? Who, who Was I with you? Was I on another stream? I was on I, another stream. I don't think I've ever Has anyone heard. in chat heard this story where I was... I remember... Less they have cyanide in them. That's right. They have cyanide in apple. Isn't apple it like cores. trace or arsenic? I thought it was arsenic, but apparently it's cyanide. How how many something. how many do you have to eat? Quite a few. Yeah. But my auntie Rose used to tell me how because she was in the war. My great aunt Rose. In the war. <laughs> she's dead now. Um, what, she went mad. In the war. No, she's dead recently. Well, oh. like ten years ago. <laughs> I don't, I don't know like how I should be reacting. Like, oh, I'm really sorry, 
or oh, ten years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, she looked after me when I was a kid, and she I always remember she told me the story that was that when she was in the war, the boys would she was a land girl, so she's about sixteen, and she used to they used to the girls used to bother the boys if they could get their cores off them, if they could like, oh, can I have your apple core? And I, I think they'd like nibble on it or eat it. I think I just eat it actually. They eat the cores, but it was a little bit like creepy. I'm not sure why they... I never really figured out why they wanted them. Whether it was like they actually wanted to eat them. Were they taking the pips, crushing them down, like boiling them up, refining cyanide? Dancing round the heath! And... Ah! Five apple core pips! One eye of newt! <laughs> wow! This Holy... one hair from a boy that I like's head! Oh, I'll make a love potion! <laughs> No, it's just cyanide. <laughs> I'm sorry, Betsy. You killed another one. Betsy. Oh, My God. God. Sorry. Um, so this is this is the the <laughs> the encore, I guess, from the steaming steaming Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we can we have a look at the Blade Runner game? Yeah, I've got, it, I've got I'm it launched. Um, it's up. It's running. Have you right launched now. it? Um, although, how difficult would it be to set up a VR? Can we get a VR? Quite difficult. It's says quite Steve. difficult. The cables are quite big. How difficult would it be for Sam to do, Steve? Okay. Oh, easy. <laughs> Steve says Stan would do it in no time if he was here. Okay, Thanks right, I'm Steve. ready. Oh, I press start, and it's gone worse. For a bit like um, we have a separate room for the toilets. So I think this is what... I think this is like a VR experience. Okay, it's like a, it's like a living room or something. It's like Deckard's... What's his name? Deckard. 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 Decker? Deckard, Deckard's apartment. B R nine seven three two is a virtual tour inside Deckard's apartment. Want to have a drink at the balcony, watching the streets from the ninety eighth floor? See, Tom, Ooh. if you can be gentle. Sorry, I was just like, there's like mouse smoothing on, and um, oh, I'm not a fan. I, I I think this is not like the game we played earlier. It's a slow. Is that shouting outside or in the game? I think it was outside. Oh, it is outside. It is There's outside. someone just really someone just yelling outside. Really having a could shout. You, can you hear that? <sighs> He's yelling. Is it? Is it George? Is it George? George. Has he come back? Um, I don't think so. Is that Deckard's pants? Was that a belt? I think, is I that think, Deckard's mail? I think this is a jacket. a jacket. Of course it is. It wouldn't be a pair of pants, would it? Do I have a flashlight? Oh, I do have a flashlight. Oh, my God. Okay. So I think the idea of this is if you have a VR helmet, it's it. you can load this up and just be like, wow, I could, I'm pretending to be Dick from Blade Runner. The... And this is what my apartment looks like. Okay, I've got some papers, a lot of papers. Painting, okay, it's kind of like a bit like a sort of a, it's a bit like um, Asian Bob Ross did it. Um, is this, I think this is added music, not. I feel like it's sufficiently 80s though. I think Steve's chosen very well. So pour yourself a drink maybe. Have you got a bar? Oh. It's very quiet. So now we have two overlapping musics. I'm, I was playing the piano. Oh, oh, look at the lens flare. Oh, yeah. I've got smudges. It's a bit like um, when it's been raining and I look at a light with my glasses and I get little, little drips. Why, what, what, I mean, what are these? Is this, is this just like... Oh, these shadows are nice. So it's supposed to capture the atmosphere from the movie. Does it, does it, I mean, it's a shame that neither of us have seen the movie. In a way, isn't it? Who's that lady? She's pretty. Oh. Oh. Oh man, that's a really, really good view, huh? Like straight down the street. You'd love to have that outside of your window. Hmm. Could you open the door? I don't think I could. I could. Um. Oh. Oh, the space cops. Um, damn synths. They're out there. Okay. You drawn the blinds. You can close it. No, I want that open. That's that's a nice, nice thing. Oh, my God. Wouldn't you just love 
I'd like to have a chair there and just be able to just sit and like look out, mm. you know, have like um, a little like, you know, if you're writing or whatever, you know, really just go to town. Man, this apartment's amazing, huh? It's so big it's as well. Apartment. Jeez. Well, look, it's the wave. The Great Wave over Kanagawa. I think that's called. Hokusai Wave. Yeah, Hokusai. Um, got a bed. It's kind of weird the bed is completely freestanding in the room. Very rarely see that. It is like something which is a bit modern. Feels like feels modern to me. Like I'd rather have like the headboard up against that wall. I see. Next you... to your big computer Atron. <laughs> 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 just have that just beeping away at you all night. It does seem like um, a lot of servers and things to have there, doesn't it? Um It's got quite a retro look to it, this place. Because he he's doing like all his kind of chemical work and well, maybe they're not chemicals, they're just fast. Right next to his bed. Yeah. And this, you're going to be bumping into this all the time, stumbling along. You get out of bed to pee in the night. Like, oh, where's the toilet again? Oh. Oh, Steve's making one observation. I like that. It's kind of like, you know. So, Stu so say that this bed looks quite old fashioned, whereas everything else is quite modern. But it's a bit like, you know, the wardrobe. It's like a look. Is why people have sort of, um, you know, like an Edwardian dresser in their house, I think even the though bed... you can have a modern IKEA one. I don't, I don't, I think the bed needs to be this thing that's like square glasses. Well, Whoa. It's, it's already like close to the perfect. Oh my god, this view as well! Holy shit! Oh, it looks amazing, doesn't it? <gasps> oh, there's some like. Just stay there, stay there. Just, just soak it in. Just enjoy. I really think this would be good. Good with VR. You should just lie back. Just plug yourself into this uh, simulation. Well, that loop cop car kind of get annoying me now. First yeah. time, I thought it was cool. But if it's going to happen every, like, 20 seconds. Look uh, at that. What's she doing? Enjoy Coca Cola. Oh, is it like Coca Cola pills? Oh, right. Oh, here he is again. Hello. Yep. Just zooming around. See what you mean? It's too too often. Yeah, because like the other like adverts being on a loop, that's fine. The other things that are all on loops doesn't bother me. That that thing because it is so, um, you know, in your face. So this is just some guy who's just a big fan, I guess, and he's just replicated. Did they not? Oh, all well, the music's gone now that I'm back inside. Try um. Oh, have you got an electric toothbrush? Bit of a best, bit Cosmic of grip on dark bathroom, energy. isn't it? It's like protein things. You can't see yourself. It's like a bit like a bird's beak. You have no reflection. <gasps> We're a ghost. A torch ghost. Torch ghost. Oh, I hate those fucking bathroom mirrors. They look. I really think that design was was shit. You know, before. <laughs> yeah. And now it's, you know, the future. I really feel like that is out of the question. Can you get in there? No, but oh, I like that bath, man. I like that it's in a bit of like almost like a cubby. Like you could really use that control panel. No, like a little circle appears and I can do stuff. Mm. Oh, I really like this place. This, this, this is like a great flat. What is this little corridor for? To go to the this would like this would never be designed like this. Like, look at this dead space that you've got. Like. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. Uh, National Geographic. Making robots human. Bam, next to your toilet. That's cool. Nice is little there room. a shower in here? No, I think this is literally just... A potty. The potty. Oh, God. Potty poo-poo. 
oh, the rent on something like this would be insane. You'd have to... He, like, he leaves bottles absolutely everywhere. It's like a drug addict's fly, isn't it? It really is. Okay, that's kind of like a nice desk. And like they're all just like half drunk. Do they have like a use-by date or something? And he just like stops drinking them. Uh. Oh. Hello. Okay. <gasps> oh! Enhance. Beep, 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 beep. Turn 90 degrees to the left. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> remember oh, yeah, this? Yeah, I remember this. Oh my god. Go around the corner. But, but that's not how pictures work, Deckard. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Enhance. Is he not going to enhance? Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. It's like we're watching Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah. Just or really awkwardly. In like the tiniest little thing. It's like sometimes when you get like those shitty um, movie like or TV like rips on YouTube. Like oh. from, from someone filming their TV. Oh Jeremy. god, yeah. Okay, right, we'll turn. Right, that's enough of that. I think that's a, that, right, let's, let's get out of here, Tom. Let's get out of here. Um, I think we've seen every, everything. It, this is literally whole... just a virtual reality experience. The bar? What bar? Does he have a bar in his house? Here. This. That looks like a bar. Look, he's got drink stirrers. Well, the he's thing is, it says glasses. in the blurb, it says, want to have a drink at the balcony. You know, but I don't think you can prepare yourself a drink. Oh, left oh, the thing. I don't feel like I've missed something else that I could click on. This, whoever made this is madness. This is just one guy who's just like a nutcase really who's, re who's done this. Really nice, though. So, you know, he looks like he should have like a big TV there. The way like the living room's set up. But maybe, maybe not. Um, it's just n nuts. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to click a rule on. All right, that isn't that is enough. That was that was a weird one. Thank God we looked at that though. What do you you can't really expect too much when you've got free, free game, free game, on stream. But this is cool, isn't it? With the atmosphere. I mean, this is. Yeah, nicely like just, this is done. Yeah, that looks. It amazing. looks like a movie, doesn't it? Although there's the cops again. <laughs> Pow. Okay, we did it. Blade Runner. 9732. Do you want some, do you want some art? Oh, oh, zooming in. What's Steve zooming in on? Steve, zoom in. Steve, <laughs> enhance. <laughs> enhance, Steve. Excellent. <laughs> okay, pan left, seven clicks. Enhance. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a bad episode of CSI. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I mean, that's what it would be like. Yeah, yeah. In those like, CSI episodes. I'd be like, well, yeah, it's just not a picture. <laughs> yeah, like the picture, it's only so much resolution. You can't. Add more later. Well, we did it. Oh, and look, there's the cop car. Great. Um, it's like when people, you know, we caught the killer because we took a picture of the guy and we saw we enhanced his eye and the <laughs> reflection in his eye. Oh, God, yeah. Showed the killer's face. You can go prone. I just saw that. What? <laughs> Do you want to crawl around Deckard's flat? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that kind of really <laughs> weird pervert. Oh my god. This is... Well... This is this is great. Have you crawled around on the floor of your flat, Lewis? Do you know what it looks like I think from like, <clears throat> ground eye level? I got a new carpet. Oh, did you have like a roll around on it? Yeah. To like whenever test you get a new out? carpet, that's the only time you roll around on it. Apart from when you're a baby, and or a dog, they're the yeah. things that roll around on carpets, right? Oh my god, this feels like um, it feels like one of the uh, TTT levels now. One of the, like the giant, the giant rooms. Oh my god, you're right. You're like a borrower. Oh my god, imagine if TTT like had these kind of graphics. Like, oh, it looks so good. Wouldn't that be? A, I mean, I really think it should do, though, right? Like, I feel like, I feel like we should have. There should be a new game that that a new engine. I mean, TTT. What? It, it's using the Half-Life Two engine, right? Yeah, just the Source engine. I mean, how old is that? Pretty old. Like, like. Nineteen seven years. No, well, no. two thousand and four is. Wow. And it was obviously in development before then, because it it was it took a while to come out. It was using fairly. Well, it was pretty good though when it came out actually. But we're talking fourteen year old engine on on TTT. Yeah, jeez. Well, like when did Gmod even come out? Like. <sighs> not 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 well. I mean, Gary's mod is is. <laughs> It doesn't matter when it came out, it was kind of... Well, actually, Gary's Mod came out on December the 24th, 2004. So only a month after Half-Life 2 came out. Oh my god, fuck me. Uh, Did you know Gary's Mod is the 8th best-selling PC game? What? what that can't all be right. time? Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 10 million sales. No way. Oh, okay. Gary's Mod sold more copies than Half-Life 2. What? <laughs> Although, um... That's amazing. No, I don't know. I don't Ten know. million copies sold. Okay, right. We're closing it down. Um, we need some art for that. Okay. Um, That's a lot of copies, isn't it? Right. What, what do we want? Pubga. It's the second most best-selling game of all time on PC. Really? 24 million copies sold currently. Jeez Louise, that's a lot of copies. Fuck me, those guys cleaned up, didn't they? They really did. 24 million copies. How much is it? Like 30 quid? That's uh, 24 times 30. Oops. Seven hundred twenty million dollars. <whistles> Pop G. That's a lot of fucking dollars. It is, isn't it? Damn. Damn. Um. Man, that's that's really interesting. Oh, you're draw gonna draw the balcony view. Oh, thank you. That's over nine thousand pounds. Terraria is third, yeah, can you believe it? Really? Oh, man. Minecraft, PUBG, Terraria, wow. I like that. Uh, Terraria's, Terraria's great. They deserve some bucks. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, Mikey Mouse 94 resubbed. Thank you. And so did Willays Yayit. Baumeister says, have you seen the new Nintendo Labo? Uh, yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? It does. Um, it's cool. I like the idea that, you know, I, I talked about it a bit before, but I feel like, you know, like, you know, PlayStation and Xbox are kind of just normal kids, like, sitting at the table doing their homework. And Nintendo is, like, sitting in the corner eating glue. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's It's like... It, they just do their own thing and fucking all power to them because I feel like someone yeah. someone needs to be like innovating rather like in just different ways rather than sure you know more tech it, right? yeah. make it prettier perfect well I saw someone someone said if, if this was done by PlayStation 
Activision would do it and everything would be plastic, you know? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Whereas I feel like Nintendo are doing it and it's just... Uh, I don't know, just thinking outside the box. Um... Awesome. I love Nintendo. Yeah, a lot of respect. I was playing a bit of Odyssey the other day, actually. Really? Yeah. Um, I went to uh, get the flipping... Because me and Ben played Odyssey when it came out. And I thought, I'll pick it up again, play it a bit more. And uh, the, the Switch we used actually is broken. Oh, really? Can't, can't get it to boot up. So I... Because I, I, um, I had it on my office Switch and I didn't want to start again. So I, I just... Um, but I had the uh, game card, so I just pulled it out, put it in my um, my home Switch. So we're going to have to get that one fixed. But that's a useless anecdote. Um, <laughs> declared YRP... Sending a message from America. Our government is shut down. Please help. Did you yeah, hear what, about this? What, yes, what? Oh, fuck me. Uh, it what, happened before. Um, yeah, what? What, what's going on? The government got shut down. It's a common thing. Um, so I, I saw loads of things on Reddit about, like, in 1975, the Australian government was shut down. Well, basically, like, what happened is the government is in, like, a lot of debt, right? But it's normal, right? Every country is in shit tons of debt. But the American um, system is at a point where they constantly hit this, these, these legal debt thresholds. It's like if, if the debt is supposed to go over a certain limit, they have to pass, like, legislation to allow them to go to, to a new limit. Right. Rather than just saying, oh, we can do it, fuck it. And, and and because the because no one can agree with each other, they kind of they're all just children basically. But this thing happened a few years back as well. Sorry, I shouldn't really be talking about this because I'm probably like the worst person to give you the instructions. But yeah, it's it's a problem. There's the the anti deficiency act. The right? anti deficiency act. So what's what's going on? So when when they say the government's been shut down, what well, it means every government employee is technically off work so all the people who who do any any civil every, any civil servants so like, like I remember last time it was a problem because like they shut down a load of parks and stuff when was the last time it happened 20, 2013 yeah oh fuck but yeah I guess if you just shut it down for like a week got a lot of money in 2013 during the shutdown approximately 800,000 federal employees were indefinitely furloughed and another 1.3 million were required to report to work without known payment dates. So, yeah. It's oh, so I guess if you're like an ambulance driver here, hmm. not over there. Firefighters, they're done by the government in America, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, I yeah. think it's just a matter of like saying, yeah, okay, we are massively in debt, sure, but we're just going to keep keep it going. We know this, like. It's just I don't know. I don't I don't fucking know. If anyone is not, yeah, I think I think the, anyone who's important is still working. But I think like a lot of people are civil servants like who are <laughs> off work until they get a guaranteed police date. A police date, um, pay date. Essential services are exempt from shutdown as well, says Barham. Well, there you go. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, yeah. It's an interesting thing. Uh, thank you, Declared Yuppie. Thank you, Mertram. Thank you, Top Jam Man. Love you guys. Amazing vids of the Colony Survival. Thank you. Thank what you, again. Patasus. He has resubbed. Thank you to Darth Seal, who has also resubbed. Um, what, what's your review of this VR game, Tom? What we have done played. Zoom and enhance. Oh, of course it is. Um, I don't know which. Oh, here we go. Do you enhance? And I've saved the art for you. Thank you. Is there any other games you want to have a look at from that list? What was that other free one? Um, the other free one. Tiger something, wasn't no, it? Oh, it's downloaded, tonight. so we can give that a go. Blade it's Runner 2972. It is so hot right now. So I guess that's the number of his apartment, isn't it? 2972, 2932. For sure. That makes sense. Tom, he's, 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 I haven't actually seen this one yet. Let's see what, it, let's see what you did. 
What have you done? What have you... Oh my god. Let's go to Tom's screen. I can oh. hear noise. There's, I've got a video. Pretty cool. I'm not entirely sure what the um, <laughs> what the actual game's gonna be. Right. I think I'm just gonna try and. As much as that is, as oh. much as that incredibly boring animation tells us, I mean, that that was one of the worst things I've seen. It was, it, it just looked rubbish. Ugh. I really wish people were like, not would not. Can you not? Can you not, please? Okay, great. I, I get to make a character. Right, this is an exciting action strategy PvP game reenacting large scale warfare of minus 200 BC. It features meticulously recreated battle equipment and will teleport you back to the brutal era of melee combat. Okay, so I get a choice of gender. Cool. It's male. Oh. What What would you mean? It's male. There's male no... is my choice. Cool. So is there a, just... Sure. Just get a few randomizers in here. See if anything really, really funky turns up. Really pops out. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Perfect! 100%! That, that, is, that is just without doubt exactly what I wanted. I'm not sure if the hairstyle is right. I think that. I think that is that is the That's one. That's what you were looking for. Um, uh, just, oh, so good. Do you want him older? I kind of think older is even better. That mustache and those eyebrows. <laughs> Fuck me, this is... So good. Don't know if that. Are you trying to make him look like a beautiful ballerina? I like. It. I just want a bit of like pointy, pointy chin in here. He looks like he's sort of struggling to take a shit now. Oh, sad, sad eyebrows. Oh no, we've lost them. Where were those really awful ones? You trying to make it into Shin's GTA 5 characters, Barum? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I point. don't think this game has the technology to. Um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so which which one? Sad or <laughs> angry? That one. Like angry. Angry. Like I will. Oh uh, yeah. Like I will. I will kill you. And all of your family. Uh, gosh. Oh, very angry. It's like a, it's like someone's drawn angry eyebrows on a potato, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, or a, it's like someone, like, like cartoonly bad. Uh, I man, I love it. Oh man, we can make him so angry. <laughs> Although. Are we losing some of the charm of like what made him good originally? <laughs> <laughs> Which was just ridiculous. There you go. Oh, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no. This guy's great. I mean, that is <laughs> Oh no, I, I like the really pencil thin mustache. But maybe Teeny's very thin lips. Uh Oh, oh, I like those. These are kissing lips right there. Oh god, look at the big bottom lip. Do the big the big bottom lip. <laughs> Looks like he's got his tongue out. That is beautiful. Beard features, don't want to mess with that. Facial features, not messing with that. I think. I think we're good to go. This guy is amazing. 
Oh, hair color. Can I get like just black hair? That's better. Great. It's kind of like oh, a, it's got like a geisha thing going on. Ooh, white's white's quite nice, but I think white's too wizardy. Oh, red actually has some charms. Yeah, like, but no, I think black. I think that. Oh, voices. It's over for you. Sure. Okay. Uh, next. General's name. Oh, what was this guy called? General. In China. Yeah. We could just get a Chinese name. Uh, uh I think we want something funny. What, like you know, yeah, Wang. Wang Wang. There's nothing uh, wrong with it. There's nothing funny about that. Wang Wang. It doesn't have to have a hyphen. It can just be first name and family name. I like I like it. I like <laughs> Wang Wang with the hyphen. I think that's I think that's pretty good. <laughs> so where do you want to be? Wei Wu or Xu? P, P U U. Some <laughs> Poopy. Some something Wong. Kung Fu Dong Bang. Oh, that's a good one. General Tso. Oh my God. Oh God, please. Please, please, can we have Kung Wu Dong Bang? Yeah. Kung Wu Dong Bang. He's a genuine character. Kung Wu Dong Bang. Yeah, Kung, Kung, Kung Wu is all one word. Like that? Yeah. Dong Bang? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which, which nation do you want to be part of? Is there a Wu? There is Wu. Sure, that's where the Wu in Kung Wu Dong Bang comes from. Invalid character name. Do you not use special letters? What do you mean? Can the hyphen be good? Oh, oh <laughs> what? In a pro oh, it's the Dong, which is problematic, probably. Ding Bang. Character's name is in a... Is dong, it because of the dash? Perfect. Uh. Right, so the hyphen was right. Right, Kung no. Dongbang. What a guy! Fan. Loading all sorts of stuff now. I don't know what to expect from this game at all. Me neither. Um. Okay, right. Stop. I just don't. I don't want any of these tutorials. I chose the mode that meant that I didn't have to have a tutorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just click the things as quickly as you can get through them. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Double click. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, this is... Right, is this the you, you, tutorial? I don't want that. Custom game. Training. Battle. Play. Perfect. Oh, we're in. What a hero. What are you using for your weapon? It's like a club with a guard. You've got a door on your back. I do have a door. I think you look pretty fucking cool. Yeah. I think you've surprised... Come out of this looking pretty okay. badass. Right. Can we... Somehow. Um, what? How do I... This isn't me, Stevie. This is... This is to, yeah. Cannot sell that gear is equipped. How do I unequip it? Why do you want to unequip oh. your starting stuff? Oh, I see. Because I think you look cooler without it. Right. And does he want? Does he want the shorts? <laughs> what else can I take off? <laughs> oh, oh, he's a muscle. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. Right. God, he really has got muscles. Weapon. I did not expect to see those. Sell. We can't sell that. But I reckon... Sure. Play. Two armor slots have not been equipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Kung Wu Dong Bang. Oh, look at him. Oh, there's people. People in chat. Oh, yeah. Hi guys, Kung Wu here. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> what are they saying? You are rapidly sending too many messages. Oh, oh, right. You can't. You can't. Okay, so we're going to be starting a match. He was in the shower and then he was suddenly called to war. He took Perfect. his trusty fishing rod and door. <laughs> he brought the door. Uh, yeah. Well, you don't want someone to steal your door. Uh, Keller Brimbatch and JCP subbed up. Thank you, guys. Bam. T-Y, T-Y. Okay, right. So do I, am I choosing who's with me? So there's like these kind of naked guys with the, the like club, not clubs, fists. And they're really fucking muscly, huh? Mm. Holy shit. What are these dudes? Command mode. I, I kind of think just just whichever. What? I thought I joined a game. What happened? I don't know. Maybe I didn't select fast enough. Except. Okay. Right. I think I'm locked in. I just chose whichever. These guys. It's the spear guys. Are you... Is this six on six? Yeah. Hi, guys. Kung Wu here. <laughs> Kung Wu here. <laughs> 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 Disconnected. Click to Tips. enter into the battle. Disconnected. <laughs> it's a shame because we really, we really want to play this. Like we're so excited for this. We're so I, hot for this. I don't think I've ever been more invested in a character in anything. Um, Do you reckon people are like seeing you and are like, oh god, this guy? I'm just getting kicked. <laughs> They're like vote kicking you. Hey guys, Kung Wu Hi here. Guys. Kung Wu here. Oh. That's some real spicy gameplay. I, I sometimes games they just take a while f just f takes a while for you to get into the game, you know? Yeah. It's like back in the day. You know, you used to have to like put a CD in and then we have to read off the CD and you get like a half minute loading screen. Nowadays, you have to like wait for people to click accept, and there's like a timer, and it like slowly loads, and then like disconnects you, and it says you know you need internet connection, and you have to pay some microtransactions. Then a weird pop up comes up, and then the game closes, and loads Redcliffe com com command mode. What does that say? Con conquest. It's the thirteenth year. In the thirteenth year of the Jian'an era, two hundred and eight A.D., Prime Minister Cao Cao. Oh, Cao Cao! I remember him from Dynasty Warriors. Right. The Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Um, You're on command mode. Click to choose original place. Sure. Kung Wu Dongbang. He goes in the middle. Okay. I'm kind of excited. So do you have a big army? My god, you've got 40 soldiers. Okay. Guys, it's Casey. They're going to follow me. Can I, can I chat in game? Hi, guys. Kung Wu here. <laughs> <laughs> Kung Wu here. <laughs> okay, so... I think just follow someone else. I think that's going to be our strategy. Yeah. Right? You get on a boat. Perfect. What? 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 I've got a zoom for my sniper rifle, I think. Shit Lord. Oh no, Sith Lord. We found... Two Rangers. Two Rangers. Okay, that's good to know. We have taken the oh shit! 
Is that guy bad? He looks oh, bad. Yeah, he is. He's not on your team. Hand, handheld. Right, am I, am I killing this guy? Yeah, looks like it. Uh, your guys are like teaming him up on him. This King guy here, Kingfisher. Right. I still have all my life left. 300 life. Are we winning? Someone. Um, there's some numbers, which I assume are, are good for us. It's 36. Good number. There we go. Look, knock, knock down. You've got one kill. Oh. Kung Wu Dong Bang strikes again. Oh, is that guy just gone down? Oh, okay, right. So these, these look like just look regular good. bods. Oh God, well, they're there, kind of pummeling me a bit. Do you respawn if you get killed? Come on, guys, just do the do the killing. Three kills. You're blocking them up. Yeah, it's good. I guess, yeah. Did he try to run through you guys or something? I don't know. It looks like they have gotten through. You're killing some militiamen. Enemy, has occupied, the site. Enemy occupied recruitment site. Is that our base? Is that the area where you Did they just charge through people? into our base? Is that what's happened? Right, I think maybe we need to bring our bring our boys back. Ow! What a jerk hole. Oh, I've got look, an arrow in your leg. Yeah, I've got like a big fucking arrow straight through my my thigh. Oh, calf. Jeez, What's that looks happening over really here? painful, huh? Okay, is, if, is he like the named guy? Is he dead? Yeah. Okay. Man, Kung Wu Dongbang. What a killing machine. He, he knows what's up. God, there's an arrow through my spear as well. Uh, my spear? My shield. Go to the door. Yeah, the door. I need that. It's my house. Kung Wu Dong Bang woke up in the bar. His town was under attack. Oh, God. Grabbing his trusty fishing pole and door from the and bathroom. It, yeah, the, the door. He set so. out with his 40 dudes. Uh, yeah, his 40 friends. Um... Is, it, 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 are we winning? I mean, maybe maybe it's time to take the fight to the enemy. How do we know whether we're winning or not? I don't. I don't know. Oh, what's that? F six. Recover. Is this your dudes? These are my guys. There's Larry and Gary, Barry. Oh. Oh oh. Oh my god, they set up a little recovery area for eating it and stuff. What the fuck? Our victory is moments away. Oh, fuck. What a game. Well, there you go. That is... Uh, we're going to quickly do a, a fucking MS Paint of that one. Get that one on the list. And then we're going to have a quick break. And then Tom's going to have to go because yeah. you've got you to you do stuff. I've got you got life. you got you got shop, to shopping do. to pick up and, and places to be and things to do. So um, um, I want you to draw the our great warrior. Kung Wu Kung Dong Wu Bang. Dong Bang, if you can, with his 40 dudes. Um, please. That was. Did you get MVP, Tom? Is that is that literally? I don't know. Happened? I don't know. I closed it this down. This is this is Tiger Knight. The game is called, and it's available now on Steam for free. Yeah. Um, we, we are not promoted to say that. We have to play these games. It's number 16 on the Steam Spy trending. This is a little bit of bonus. Um, 
we, we said we'd only do an hour of steaming Saturdays, on Saturdays. But today you've got an extra hour and a half because I'm going away next week. Yeah. And so we might not be able to. But who knows? Maybe we can wrestle up. Um, Tom can wrestle up a, a buddy to come and do this with. Yeah, I'll, I'll look something could, If you can find a Harry or a, a, a Terps or a Simon or someone someone yeah. rogue out there who might want to do a bit of, a bit of streaming Saturday. Yeah, we'll, we'll get someone involved. Yeah, ste- steaming. Steaming, 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 Saturday. streaming. Uh, Saturdays, yeah. I like it being confusing whether it's steaming or streaming. You know, yeah. Because that way... Some ambiguity. You don't know. You just don't know what to do. People, Some people would have called it one thing. Some people would call it another thing. That way it won't catch on. And then <laughs> no one will watch it. Um, Kung, Kung Wu. Uh, how Kung, did you spell Kung Wu again? K, was it? Uh, kind of just how, you, how you'd say it. With two du- was it was it all right? Kung Kung, because it's normally Kung Wu with W O O, right? Oh, I just did, I just did it with a U. Just a U. Kung Wu Dong Bangs, big adventure. Is that is your that your review? Um, I was thinking um just have, hey guys, Kung Wu beer. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Uh oh god. The the MS paints you've done today really have taken they've gone they're a step up. They they're a step up from previous previous days. And I'm proud of you. Yeah, we well we we're making this better for everyone. Yeah. Um, everyone has to watch this, so you know, they want to make sure that they get a good a good product. Good value. Do you know what I mean? Good value. Are you using the same size for all of them as well? Is it going to be like consistent? So I can like. So they yeah, I'm fit using this nice as like a. What? A template now. So I can line them all up and they'll be largely the same size always. I feel like. Cap- you captured Blade Runner perfectly in that police car repeating yeah. itself across the world yeah I'm going to make this sheet available to everyone this week before I go on the halls because I think people will want to they want to read our reviews you know they might think oh I wonder if uh, steaming, I wonder if Lewis and Tom have played this and they'll on be able steamy to... Saturdays and they'll be able to look it up and be like oh well this is no use as a review system at all. <laughs> this, this, this is absolutely meaningless. <laughs> I don't understand this at all. Although what I could do is I could put a link to where in the stream we played it. Oh my god, yeah. Oh wow. That does seem like rather a lot of effort. I won't do that. I put, I'll put the column in as if I was going to do it and then not do it, you know? Uh, someone will work it out. Kind of looks like um, show me what you got head. Do you know what I mean? Like a like a floating, terrifying head. Yeah, he's a bit of a weird design. But he's like really muscular as well. <laughs> He does have kissing lips, don't forget. He's got like kiss lips that kiss. <laughs> These lips kiss. Yeah. Uh, okay, draw, draw like a little six pack on him. He looks like a dad wearing a crappy pink jumper. Yeah, let's do some big nipples as well. Very nice. It's doing it for me. Perfect, and we'll get like, we'll get some kissy lips. Pour that, pour that lip color in there. Perfect. Very jolly, isn't he, Kung Wu? <laughs> Bearing in mind his country's being invaded and he's missed his shower and all the other stuff. Um, what's that game called? Tiger Knight. Tiger Knight. It's free on Steam. It's number sixteen. It felt trending. a bit like um. Total War Arena, 
Right. That's, uh, that sort of idea, like, you know, it's lots of people playing together, each have, like, bits of an army, and you kind of have to work together, mm. I imagine. But more action-y, um, I think. Have you played Total War Arena? Is yeah, it out? Me, me and Ben played a whole load of it. Oh. So I think... Was it um, made by Wargaming? It was made by, um... No, it was Creative Assembly. Oh, no, but didn't they license out someone else to make it? Oh, maybe. I'm pretty sure it's like a, a collaboration with someone else. Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure Creative Assembly don't really have anything to do with it. Oh. They just sort of said, oh, yeah, do you want to make this thing? And they sort of, I think. I could be wrong. I don't think Total Warning. Yeah. Let's quickly look that up. Just in case I'm talking bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, published by Wargaming. So it's developed by, apparently developed by Creative Assembly, but published by Wargaming, so... Right, okay. Yeah. I guess because it's a completely different, like, server setup and thing like that, and that's something that Wargaming is all it's about. It's quite different, yeah. I didn't know it was out already. I guess it's not. Is it on Steam? Maybe. Man, so many games. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot. So many games. This is, like, education mobile, isn't it? Total Arena. Total War Arena. Oh, dear. Now I'm just going to be, like, look at this. I'm already getting the Chinese games coming in. Three Ooh. Kingdoms, The Last Warlord. It's all, Steam is already recommend. Hey, you look like you enjoy playing Tiger Knight. <laughs> you want to continue the adventures of Kung Wu Dong Bang <laughs> into Three Kingdoms, The Last Warlord? No. That's the Steam. I'm fine. Uh, all right, we're, we're good. Thank you, everyone. We'll, uh, Tom's going to go. I'm going to put Kettle on. See you in five minutes, where I'm going to finish off the stream um, by mucking around on I don't know what. We'll see. Um, so, yeah. See you shortly. Bye.
everyone and welcome back to Saturday stream um, which will be one of the last Saturday streams I'm gonna do for a while so um, I'm gonna let you pick what I do um, I have got a bunch of things we could do so maybe I should make a little straw poll Steve um, okay so first off earlier today I played the tutorial of bomber crew so I, we could have a go at that so put that on the list. Bomber Crew. I could play Opus Magnum. Um, that's the game that I played a bit of before on stream, but I think it got a bit too hard. Like I only have like a couple of the levels left, and they're very hard. So, and it's pretty dry. Um, that's on the list. And then last week I played Stories Untold with Turks, but I didn't finish it. I still haven't finished it. So I've got chapter four of that. If you want me to do that. Um, alternatively, I could play a little bit of uh, the Rusty Lake Paradise game, which is quite cool. Um, alternatively to that, what else? I could play, God, I could play, oh my God, I don't want to even mention these. There's some pretty bad games. Um, on my Steam library that I don't want to mention because people just troll me and I'll end up playing I've been getting over it um yeah give me a give me a whatever give me a give me a I, I will play what I want relax thankly deathly Joe thank you to thankly thank you to Kralek 
and thank you to Mad Pat. He says, what do you think about doing a Yogscast game jam? Fans making games and then we te- me and Tom test them at the end. That sounds amazing. But the games are going to be... Oh, they're going to be they're going to be like the flipping Jingle Cats videos. Do you know what I mean? They're just going to be like... Most of them won't be games. Um, so yes, give us a... Give us a... Um, Give us a straw poll, Steve, and let's have a look. Mm-hmm. Mist. No. Um, I've never played Mist. Would love to see Doki Doki Literature Club. Hmm, how long is that going to take? I think that's, like, fairly short, right? Why is it about, this? Why is it about three hours? It's a really interesting game, actually. I, did, I haven't played it myself. It's, like, a weird like anime thing yeah, yeah yeah you're allowed to play play Doki Doki it's it's quite it's quite something Steve if you've not seen it um yeah you've not seen it it's quite something well it's it's an anime game but it's got like a warning at the start that says this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. It's like, it's like <laughs> that's all out of my games. That's right, Steve. Um, no, I it's it's I, I've heard good things about it. I haven't played it and I haven't seen it. And I, I wanted to I wanted to play it through. So that is an option, definitely. Um, but yeah, no point in playing it now. Says the guy who thinks that I've had it all spoiled for me. I haven't, so I don't know. Uh, Braytona. Thank you, and Rambo Dragon. Thank you for resubbing. Cool. Cool. Go for it, Steve. Oh, put Town of Salem on there as well. Yeah, there you go. That's a good idea. Um, can we have Steve's voice as well, please? We could also do like one and a half hours of Lewis naming games. That's an option. That is an option. Um, but no, I'm giving you the option. Look, I, I can play. I can, I'm, I've got games I want to play. You don't, you don't need to... Worry about me. I'm just letting you have a little choice. All right. Is that straw poll live? It is. Have a have a vote. Have a li- tiny little vote. Vote yourself. Um. I hope you guys had a had a little little cup of tea there. A little break. Hope you were able to stretch your legs. It's a good idea to do that. LB loves tea. Resubbed. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Uh. No getting over it. Oh, yeah, I didn't put getting over it on there. If I'd put getting over it on there, that would, I would have just played this for the next ages. Oh, I did play this game, actually. Um, ben taught me this game. Oh, what was that game we were playing together? Oh, of course. Did I ever play that on stream? Did we ever play this on stream? Um, what's it called? Is it called Wanderers? No. It's called, oh my god, what's that game called that we, me and Ben were playing? Oh, I have to find it. Mm, it must have been before Christmas. Oh crap. There's this like, oh my god, it, it's gonna it's gonna bug me. It's, it's not got a very catchy name. That's the problem. It should just be in my Steam library, right? Worshippers, here we go. If you guys, did I ever play this on Steam? Did I ever play this on stream? Let me show you Worshippers. Okay, it's a game I play quite a lot of. Also, I could always. Um... Oh, the people, the people voted for Town of Salem, Town of Salami. Oh my God, why do the why do people do this? All oh, right, okie dokie. No one wants to watch me. Do you only opus? Maybe I'll just maybe this was a all a ploy all along to see what you wanted least, and I was going to do that. How do you feel about that? Hmm? Everyone, how do you feel about that now? I said it. Let me show you two games that I'm interested in. So this one's called. First of all, this one's called Worshippers, right? This is a game that Ben found on Steam, and then me and him played extensively. 
<laughs> and then we stopped playing it for some reason and forgot about it. I don't know w- when did we did when were we playing this? Was it over? Might have been like over Christmas. Yeah, because we didn't really play any of the games that we were actually interested in over Christmas. We only played um, the the humble bundle challenge games. Um, ah, Steve. I've got I've got chat. It's right. We got chat. Um, where's Steve's sultry Welsh voice? Says Fluffs. Fluffs wants some, some Steve up in this. Steve says he's actually going to come in here. Oh, Steve, don't do that. I like it in here. It's nice. It's quite. It's quite fresh. It's quite airy. You know, you're going to like stick the place up with your. <laughs> no, you're welcome. You're welcome to join me. Um. Oh my God. Yeah. Exactly. You're going to take all of my glory. All right. Okay. Worshippers, you ready? Oh dear. Well, look, this isn't ideal. It's got like a weird launcher thing. Um. Graphics quality. Good. Play. Okay, Steve. Worshippers. Okay. Now, this game... Oh, it's had an update since last time. It didn't have these before. It just had the one thing. I'm assuming we're just going to go with the standard campaign. So you pick, first of all, you pick... Oops. You pick between four people. I thought it was going to give me a warning. It just picked this guy, though. Um, don't be angry, all right? about me not playing Tasmania, I may come back to it. I may not. It depends on how this goes. Um, I might just lose straight away. So I've played this before. So basically, this game works where you, you basically have like a kind of a deck of cards. Um, and you have to like, you have a certain amount of act. It's like kind of like, Ben described it to me as Civ, but like the first few turns of Civ. Good. Have you played this before? Have you guys seen this? I don't know. Everyone in chat is like super mad. They're not really. Um, okay, so so watch this. Okay, so right. So first of all, I have to pick a mission. The harder the mission I can do, the more points I get, which allows me to get extra cards to be better next time. But don't worry about that. I'll teach you. It's fine. Um, this one looks pretty doable. Okay, so um, we start off and. We are, uh, we have our dudes. So we have a settler, okay, and we have a scout. We, this scout is made of two units, so we can actually pull one of them out straight away. Um, this is one weird thing about this game that you will notice that everyone, when they move, make an ex- makes an explosion sound, which is pretty, like, you know, annoying, but you'll get used to it. So basically... Um, the idea of this game is that it's a little bit like Civ. You can build one city in each region. Oh, I'll just fucking play it and you'll figure it out. Um, so I've got f- four actions per turn. Okay. And I've got 25 turns max. I need to do... Hey, Steve. Hello. I need to do... I need to win four battles and I need to kill the big army which comes at the end. Uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to, to do a bit of, little bit of scouting and try not to, to lose my scouts. Um, I'm going to use this scout. So I've got three actions left, so I'm actually going to click on the set one, which uses an action. Um, and I can either draw a card, or I can get some free resources. So actually what I'm going to probably do is... So I've started with no resources, but now I've got a town. It's going to give me one of each resource per turn. So next turn when I've used up all my actions. So there's no point in me taking a hammer, for example, because I can't build anything with it. These require two food. These require two hammer. This I've only got. I've got zero of anything at the moment. So I might as well draw a card. What is it, Steve? I'm just lost. Okay, don't worry. You'll get understand. So I'm just going to pick a card. Um, I'm going to. I can't really do very much. So I'm just going to move this guy forwards into there and scout a bit. Okay. So cool. Enemies will spawn here in seven day. Combat difficulty sixteen. No problem. Right. I can't actually use my last action. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can't. Don't worry about it. It's not a problem. This is easy mode. Um, we're going to take a turn straight away. So what I can do is I can either, again, draw a card or get a free resource. So if I get two hammers, I can actually build one of my buildings. So I can actually build either a farm or a lumber mill. Farms can only be built in specific locations next to at least two planes. 
In fact, this place actually is green, so I can actually build a farm here. Farms are useful because they give you more food every day. So I'm currently generating one food. Now I will generate two food. So I will put that there. Uh, the other thing I can do is discard a card in order to get a specific resource. So, for example, I could um, I could discard I could discard one of these cards that I don't really want, like this guy, for a extra hammer, and then I can build the lump of mill as well. Oh, I can't remember how to actually what the button is to do it. Ah, oh, that double click. Okay. I'll, I'll remember. So now I've used up my four actions. I haven't moved anything. My four actions were discard a card, build two things, and activate the town. End. Okay, so now I've got, because I've got two bread and two tools from these things, I can actually build a settler. So I probably should. Uh, I can actually put it down here. Um, and then I've put it down in an army. I think I can probably move it as well. I don't. This region will provide plus one food and plus one tough tools. I can't construct buildings on this tile. Can I claim this region? I can't settle on a resource node. Resource nodes are new. They've only just been added. Okay. So what I did was there, normally when you, that's really interesting, I didn't know that. So you couldn't, you couldn't use to spawn um, settlers outside of your starting zone. Obviously now it looks like you can spawn them on an existing army but then they get their movement, so that way I can move the settler forward. You're right there, Steve. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just reading chat and trying to keep up with this. You're like twitching. You're like nervously twitching. Oh, I have a twitch in my shoulder every sometimes. Okay. Every so often. I didn't know that. We've learned something about Steve today, uh, everyone. Um, so every time you use a card, it gets more expensive. So the next farm I'm gonna build is gonna cost me four hammers instead. Um, I, this is my last action for the turn, so. Well, I have got another action after it, but there's not much I can really spend these things on. This is pretty bad, but it lets you move a move an army twice if you need to. We're just going to take the crappy scout card. Um, and then we're going to move this scout up here. Okay, cool. Right, turn four. We want to draw a card, really. We'll take the archer. Now... Other thing we can actually do is we can spend an action working the lumber mill. So we're going to work the lumber mill for an extra tool, and then we can build this archer. And we can also build this footman. Right. So now we've got like a little decent army. Uh, our army is value twenty-seven. This this thing is only combat difficulty sixteen. Um, we should have built our oh, flipping town. I forgot, but never mind. That's right. I'm just remembering how to play. We are going to we're going to build our city that we said we were. And we're going to move here. Um, cool. So now is, there's a little battle. And the battle is against a, Les, a, a Leslie and a Domol, Domonic. Okay? This guy's an animal, apparently, even though he looks like a hobbit. This guy's an old man. His ability is when he falls back, he gains one action, heals all of his animals on, for two. This guy's an animal. He can use his skill. Um, his skill is time skip, which starts your next turn. Okay. So, right. I mean, these, these these are like powerful units, but we've got some pretty cool units as well. So what we've got is we've got a scout. So if we play him first, which is usually a good idea, they're going to play Dominic and Leslie, and our scout is going to get attacked. So we, we've got two actions, right? We can have maximum of three. When we... You can... Throwing someone on the battlefield costs an action, like this. Bam. Right? Um... Falling back doesn't cost an action, but we can gain two actions if we fall back with our scout. So we're going to fall back the scout, gain two actions, we're going to play the scout again, and we're going to play our archer out for an action. So now we've got one action left, and we can do an attack. Okay, so um, when you attack, they automatically get free counterattack. If they have armor, this guy has three armor, it's going to chip away one of his armor and then hit him for whatever's left. So if I attack now, it's going to chip away his armor, he's going to take no damage, he's going to attack us back and chip away one of our armor, even though he's only got an attack of one, right? So, that happened. Now it's his turn, they're going to do some attacks. Our scout's probably going to die here, but it's not really a massive problem. Because um, he's pretty crappy. And now we're just going to attack, he's going to counter-attack, 
we're going to not use a ranged attack. We're just going to use a melee attack here to get rid of his armor. And then he's going to attack back. He's going to attack back, but we're okay. So now our footman's got no armor, so he's like at risk of dying, which is not ideal. But this guy's got no armor in one life. This guy's got no armor in two life. So we're just going to attack the guy in the front. He's going to die. And we're going to attack the guy in the back. He's going to die. Bam. So we win. Right. Um, we won a blessed sword. You can equip that on someone for zero cost of gold. Um, and after you've killed someone, it will heal all of your units for two, which is quite cool. Seems pretty good. So uh, he's obviously wounded at the moment. He'll heal up at the end of the turn. Um, so that's not a problem. We've got two towns now, so we're going to be on three resources for each next time. We don't really have many cards, though. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try and draw some cards. We'll draw another footprint, and we'll draw another footprint. Okay, good. Okay, let's keep drawing. We're gonna, we're gonna draw. Mm. Sages are a bit shit. See, we're not really getting any faith or gold in. They come from like other buildings, I think. Now they used to come from the town, but now there's not really very many ways to get them. So this guy. However, this guy does add the next tier of cards to our deck, so we need to try and get this off at some point. Um, this has all changed recently as well, so it didn't used to be quite like this. We're going to just work the farm and then build a settler out somewhere where we, hopefully we won't get instantly killed. Put him here. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's the end of our turn. All right, so we'll, we'll move across, settle him next turn. Uh, we'll explore with this unit. There's a pig there. We can kill that. So we still need to win three more battles in seven days. We've, we, we have got enough food if we work this farm to build a footman. So I think we should probably do that. Let's build the expensive footman. And that ends our turn. We're going to build the settlement here. That reveals an old fort, so that's 55 combat difficulty. But we might be able to get there if we can get some good units in. We really need to get... Ah, look at that. We're really lucky. So sometimes you get three faith. So that's the three faith. means we can build this guy. And uh, that now allows us to have tier two cards. Tier two cards are significantly better, usually. Um, in this case, I haven't got any of them. I don't think this is a tier two card. Plus one gold at the beginning of each day. I don't know how many... I don't know what that is for. We're going to build one. We're not going to build one yet. Um, I think we might take another set and just really just smash settling. Because if we can like work these... We might, we might just settle a million things. We should go and kill this pig. So the pig will attack us if we stand next to it at the end of the turn. Um, you're learning. We're all learning. Pigs, reward 2 XP. So really we want to skill this guy up because if we can skill our archer up to if we get him 3 more XP, he will be able to shoot twice in turn, which is pretty big. Um, we're just going to let this thing at pig attack us. That's a big pig. It is a big pig, and he gets to attack twice. That's pretty annoying. Uh, we're going to attack with this one. And we're going to play our archer. He's going to attack us twice, I think, which is going to kill us, actually. Pretty annoying. Mm, sure. Um, but now we can attack and kill him. And the archer gets the XP. Hmm. I mean, sometimes it's a bit tricky to... I probably should have done that slightly better. But... Well, it doesn't matter. It's, it's early early game, so I'm not too, too terrified of dying. This is early game. Yeah. Wow. This is, well, this is mid-game mid now. This is definitely mid-game now, um, actually. Because I've pretty much... I've already got, like, a bunch of cities down. So I've got three actions left. Um, what does this thing even do? Oh, right. This region will provide... Okay. I didn't realize that they've, they've changed quite a lot in this game since I, since I started. So obviously, yeah. So, okay. I thought all... Because previously in this game, all regions provided one of each, right? And so all you need to do is build one more and it gives you one of each. But this thing only provides food and tools. And this one only provides food and gold. So in fact, 
you kind of need to be careful where you settle because you don't necessarily know. Like, I don't know what this region's going to give me. Um, it seems like a pretty okay game, though, Mr. Mayor. Right, so I can build... So that's a house, which is really useful. It gives me one action daily, which is pretty big. So if I can get one of the... This is a tier two card that I'm just looking for. So I slap that down. And then next turn, I'm going to get five actions, which is actually quite big to get. If you can get it really early, that's really good. Also, I'm going to um, take an axe man, who's pretty beefy. I'm going to take a... A blessing of... Mm, I'm probably never going to get that unless I start building these shrines, which I don't really want to build. I'm tempted to get the food. I will get the food. And then I will get... a sword. And then I will work the farm to get six food. And then I will build an Axeman. Could, so could, could, could have built a settler. Axeman is really cool because he attacks, like, two adjacent um, areas. Oh, okay. Okay, so th I've just got a spell that lets me gain two tools for a, a move. So I'm going to pay for that. That puts me on five. Oh, shit. I fucked up. I fucked up slightly. Um, I wonder if I can do this still. See, th see, there's bits, there's bits of this game I'm not really super familiar with. I can move him there. Okay, so let's, let's do this. Let's get one more tool. And move him here and rebel this rebuild this heaven. Okay, that did work. So this is a bit tricky. I think I, I fucked up because I moved this unit and I was gonna move it here and rebuild this settlement for six tools. But uh, I used my turns inefficiently, but we did it. Who the fuck is this? Oh dear. Well that wasn't what I was hoping for. He's he's gonna attack me, so I need to start moving back. Let's link the scout up with that army. Scouts are useful to have in an army just because they're... You can throw them down first and they give you the extra actions. We're going to give the sword to our X-Man to make his strength even stronger, which is pretty badass. After kill, we're going to give that to our X-Man as well. Oh, no. We're going to give that to our ranger. And we're going to put footman into the army. He came and ruined our town before we had a chance to do anything about it. Which is a bit of a shitty thing to do. So how many battles do you have to win uh, to actually win this game? Uh, I might have already fucked up and not done enough, actually. Oh, what's this guy? Range of attack, strength plus three, deals two armor damage. Oh, dear. Well, well, we're not going to worry too much about that. What we're going to do is we're going to slam down the Axeman. We're going to fall back the scout. We're going to um, throw this guy down throw this down and we're going to attack with our axeman which should hit both okay they've changed axeman <laughs> since last time he can now no longer counterattack. that feels annoying that feels annoying that's going to kill this guy which is good because then he'll level up which is what we wanted however this guy fucking hits like a truck so I think my archer might be dead anyway Ugh, that's horrible Oh, that's, that's really horrible. Oh, shit. Now, normally ranged attack costs you tools. And when you fight mm -hmm. NPCs, sometimes they don't have enough tools. They're like, okay. oh, disaster. That's a disaster. That went we lost our archer. Well. It was leveled up. So that's not, not good. And we lost our town. Uh, right. Ugh, this guy's fucking garbage. I'm going to take him anyway. Um... We're going to take the food, we're going to work the farm, we're going to put a new settler up here, and I'm going to just move him across into there, and we're going to sell that area. So um, what does settling actually do? Just opens up the new area? Settling gives you the resources from that area at oh, okay. the start of every turn. So in this case, it's one food and one gold. In this case, it's one food, one gold, one tools, one faith. Ah, well, pretty okay then. Yeah. I can see what you mean about being like early Civ. So I need six tools to rebuild that settlement. So let's take the tools. Rebuild it. Move him over here. Okay, we're going to settle that next turn. He's going to have a peek up here. Oh, fuck, that scout's dead. Uh, oh, well. 
Um, what else do we want to do? Probably just get a card. I kind of need a new archer. <laughs> oh dear, this is not. This is not good. He's he's. Oh, I keep losing these scouts. Um, surrender. <laughs> well, there's no point in me fighting because it it's going to heal to the to the to to to, to full. Um, so basically, at a certain point, a cursed army is going to come and fucking try to kill me. I failed the first mission, which was to win four battles. Unfortunately, they were not. I was not very good at this game. I was showing you what to do, and as a result, I fucked up. Um, Excuse me, Lily. That's my. F I'm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Uh, we're gonna take some tools. We're gonna add a new archer to our army. We're gonna get a shrine. We're gonna get the blessing of Svitnov. We're gonna we can't build the shrine. That's fine. It does seem like a pretty dry game, if I'm honest. It's, it's pretty dry, Steve. Oh, there's the undead army. Okay, that's the bad. These are the bad ones. I need to make sure I'm ready for them when they come to kill me. So I will try to do that. Uh, how much food am I on? Not enough, really. All right. So I've got enough turns now, and I've got like a lot of settlements. I just need to build a couple more units. Right, we're gonna add. Let's get. Let's get tier three units in our deck. There's one. That's a giant. He is pretty good. And there's a cheap axeman. Okay. So now we've got a bunch of actions. Um, this guy costs eleven food, so we can just sort of try and collect enough food. But sometimes food doesn't spawn. <laughs> Ooh. As you get to do this for each area you have, then I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, what do I want to do this turn? I guess I'm going to summon that cheap axe man for six food. And then I'm going to... Get this. All right. That army's 84, his army's 92. I feel like I should have this. Uh, this is a piece of crap. I'm gonna build it anyway. And I'm gonna move the army this way. I reckon he's gonna come up here probably when he attacks, which is now. Cool. Can we get enough food together to build a giant? 11. We can. Poor, just about. Giants are pretty good, so that might make all the difference. Yeah, your number's there, right? bigger than that number. It's gonna now. go and. Well, it doesn't really matter because I have to actually fight the damn battle. But I feel like. I feel like I could probably win. Mm mm mm. Even though there's like a, there is a sort of a limit to like how many units I can have in it, so I'm now at the limit. I can't put any more units in this 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 army. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm just gonna just in case I lose this Make fight, a second one. which might happen. All right. So he's probably gonna attack me next turn, which I'm okay with. Uh, we're gonna give one of our units. Plus one attack. And we're gonna... We probably don't really need much of this. There we go. Let's go for it. Okay. So probably win or lose. So this guy is pretty scary. He's got a bunch of extra equipment. And he shoots. And his range attack is to set the strength of defender to one. Let's see what next tier. Good work on the font there as well. Mm. Oh, God. Okay. So I think we're just going to slam down 
one of our better guys immediately. All right. Oh, fuck me. This is a real problem. So this guy um, has a skill which lets this guy swipe lots, which hits everyone and really erodes the armor. But that's okay. We're just going to... Oh, why, why is... Okay, what does he do? Why is he attacking... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what we want. We want him to do two armor damage, which is good, because then we can start cutting his armor down. Fall back. We send out... We're going to send out a crappy footman to block the way. Actually, fucking send out him again. Send the footman out. And then we're going to... We're going to... Just chip that armor down. Okay. End Trun. Is that a joke, do you think? Or is that just part of the poor coding of this game? I'm probably going to go with the latter. Mm-hmm. You think so? Right, we're going to attack this footman. Fuck me. He hits so fucking hard. We're going to fall back. Scout. Attack him. We're going to... I'm going to play out this heel dude, I think. Maybe we'll replay the scout and then finish him off. Um, that works. Oh, he leveled up and got a moustache. As you do when you level up. So this guy just lets these guys keep attacking all the time, which is incredibly annoying. My giant's died. Oh, God. What a disaster. Oh, it's going well. Go on, Liam. You can, you can do this. Oh, this is going to be so horrible. Look at this. They all trigger their own, each other's ability. So look, when when one of them has an ability, it, whenever another unit uses a skill, use a skill. Oh. And they all trigger off each other. Oh, my God. Heals all your units for four. Could be useful. That pretty good. I, I will attack first. And then I'll heal. Oh. How come that... Oh, when a unit is fully healed, gain plus one action. Hmm. That's pretty good. So because he healed everyone, we get an action. That's cool. Didn't realize that was a thing. Man. I can't actually benefit from all the actions, though, because everyone's already used their abilities. So I, that's, it's irrelevant to me. I can't I can't actually do anything. Can cool. you play... Uh, oh, never mind. That's all right. I think I've got them, probably. Although the master's going to come down this time. Fuck with me. We don't have any more faith. See, that used up our faith that we had left over. So, like, decisions you make on the overworld effect. This should kill the slayer. Yeah, all right, let's do that. And then... We'll fall back this guy. Put another axeman down. Oh, the under... I forgot about this guy. That's all right. I think we're good. Bam. Bam. All right, they're going down. Oh, he hits the guy at the back. What the fuck? Cheeky fucker. All right. Oh, they level up oh, to, like, to... creepy undead men. Okay, then. And then if you want, you can do a ranged attack, which is the guy at the back. That costs tools, so I don't usually try and use it because I'm usually using the tools in that game, in that round. In this case, why not? Bam! Yay. We win. Do we win? Oh shit, no, we need... We need... I just killed a cursed army, so I think... We should have won. But we haven't won. Why haven't we won? Give me... Oh, fuck. This isn't, this isn't ideal, Steve. I thought we would have won. Normally, when you kill the cursed army, you win. Uh, it turns out that this hasn't, like, triggered and given me... Maybe the sum of 40 army? The victory points that I was supposed to have. Oh, fuck. Come on, game. Don't do this to me. I've shown you off, worshippers. You're letting me down. All right. Oh, fuck. Now I have to fight another battle against this group. Oh, jeez. 
Oh no! They're all still wounded from last time. You'll be Sorry. fine. My ambush. Well. My go? Okay. <laughs> We're attacking. Fall back. Deploy. Heal! Anyone else get an action? Can we fall back again? No. Get attacked though, right? Alright. Oh shit. Hello, do you want me to read some donations? You can do, Steve, if you want, yeah. Uh, oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I'm calculating this, it's complicated. This guy's like um, a little blacksmith. After attack, restores one armor to all your units on a board. So, you know, if I'm not careful, he'll just heal everyone's armor back up and I won't ever chip through. Um, but what could you do, huh? Not much. He can do a ranged attack to hit the blacksmith. Um, which might not be a bad idea. Donation from Cyril the Death. Oh, yeah. Challenging you to Hearthstone, Lou. Me? Yep. Sewer of the Death. Me versus Sewer of the Death at Hearthstone. What a terrific idea. Could be a good idea. Ah, shit, see, I don't have enough tools to do a ranged attack. Fuck. I really fucked that up, Steve. Ah, you're fine. I believe in you, Lou. You got this. Maybe. Donation from the Peach. Steve, these dollars are for you. Do not let Lulu take them away from you. Spend them on well-deserved beer. Much love. There you go. Thank More you, the Peach. Three. Steve's hashtag Steve Tips. It's a thing. <coughs> uh, donation from 3D Riley. Hey, Steve, you are great, and I love to be able to finally see you on stream. What kind of games do you like? Greetings from Germany to the whole Yardcast. Not only the ones we see daily, but also the ones that make all this possible behind the scenes. There you go. What type of games are like? a nice message. Uh, generally, like open world RPG. Fallout, uh, Elder Scrolls, old Final Fantasy games. And weirdly called Diddy. Cod? Yep. Steve. I like the new one. The new one's good. The only reason I got into Cod is because it's one of the only split screen games out nowadays. I play a lot of games with my partner, so. I ended up playing a lot of Cod, and yeah, to be fair, it's pretty fun. Online is pretty dreadful, but the rest of it's pretty good. Well, I should have enough points now. 25 out of 25. So I shouldn't... I should be able to win this. I think. I did. Okay, hey. so... That was a bit of a close one. I, I did pick a difficulty 2 mission instead of a difficulty 1 mission at the start of the game. But... I mean, that basically, like... It, it, there's like... Oh, anyway. And also, the game has changed a lot since I last played, so... Uh, they give me a choice of a card. I can pick a card. A little boy. Um, he costs two faith. He gets plus two armor against ranged attacks. And every time another unit dies, he gets stronger. So he sucks. He's like a Highlander. Um, uh, a small shield. Ranged attacks always hit this unit. Plus two armor. Mm -hmm. Or a 12 food animal. It attacks immediately after you deploy an animal. He sounds fucking awesome. Do you have any animals? I don't know. Uh, so, you get this thing called the Tree of Cards. Now I've got 20 worshippers, <laughs> right? I got I can spend them on a talent tree, okay? So, you can... In this case, I picked this guy because I was just... I accidentally clicked him at the start of the game. But, he's got different talent trees that are... that lead you down to really cool units that you can get, right? So, this guy starts with a spearman, always counterattack. That's a pretty cool unit, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, this guy is like a guardian, so he like you put him down, all the range attacks will always be dragged to him, okay. um, which is always handy because it means your guys, like your little puny guys, like this guy, he fought me the other, like just now. When he attacks, he gives your arm, armor back. Um, heavy infantry, a mine that gets more tools, a forge. Uh, decreases cost of all items in your hand by two. Um, a plus two heavy axe, which they can't counterattack. 
So, I mean, that can be useful on certain... Some of these things can be very useful on certain units, right? So this guy's strength value is always equal to armor value. So if you can buff his armor with this... Oh, he gets more powerful. Armor, he gets more powerful. Nice. Um, so stuff like that. On this, this talent tree is about this guy who's... Oh, so this is what the axe man used to be. He hits and two guys. So again, if you put like a thing on... A, yeah, yeah. a plus High two strength. strength on him, it's Good much AOE. better. Um, her command is that so, she, so when she levels up, she can attack twice. Various things that are cool. Counterattacks twice. Oh, wow. Do you imagine that? That looks pretty cool. Um, or dwarves. I can pick dwarves and axe throwers. So actually, this is pretty boring. Uh, some of the other guys have like oh, animal based, so mm. like, they can make an army of wolves and boars and stuff. One That's of them is cool. an undead samurai guy. And, like you know, I was fighting those undead samurais. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can actually be that guy. Not oh, cool. Um, but I'm obviously a boring guy. Spearman is what I'm picking. Oh, that's only five. So I will also pick... I think I'm going to go straight for this guy, the golem. Can you get golem straight away? So I can, I can get that. And that's all I've got enough points for. I've got five points left. So I could get this guy or this guy. After attack targets, push back two targets. So that messes with their formation. And it's quite cheap at two, two hammers. Um, this guy's a food guy, and he's pretty good. So, um, that's pretty good for armor damage. Yeah, we'll take him as well. Okay, so now we need to change up our deck and take out the things that we think are shit. Um, so I usually don't give a shit about scouts. I'm not going to build more than the ones that start the game. Mm -hmm. Um, herbology lets you like react like if i had that card in my hand i could move an army twice okay and yeah, so yeah. if if a guy spawns i can just use this to move which is a useful card to have but mm -hmm. i don't fucking use it i don't care about it time and wind used to be really op now it's a bit, a bit nerfed and crap these the sage used to be a building so mm -hmm. it used to be like a meeting hall now it's this which is kind of worse in a way because you have to pay for faith for it which i think is a, a little lot. bit tricky to get and this used to be a building as well, which which was also pretty bad. Um, two footmen is fine, archer's fine, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to I might swap out a footman. In fact, I'm going to swap out both footmen for spearman and warrior instead. I mean, footmen they just they're cheap though. They are cheap and, and pretty shit. Um, but spearman I think are way cooler. If you get two of them, that means that the cost doesn't increase as much. Oh, okay. Because there's two of them effectively. If you're if you're playing the same card over and over again, the cost yeah. increases. But I think Spearman are like the fact that they always counterattack to good. me is like pretty good because you, you stick them down at the front and they they're just gonna you know mm -hmm. that that feels like a pretty good thing. Um, I'm not gonna change this. Yeah, the Axeman was okay. I guess he levels up, he gets better. He. He sh mm, he's pretty he's pretty shit now actually. He used to be really good. Now he's just fucking di disappointing. All right. I guess the trickiest thing for me is getting to this four faith, right? Because mm -hmm. you have to kind of cheat your way into it often. Um I mean obviously there is a shrine and a a barsi, but pff. so normally when I play this game I try and very quickly min max into one thing only. Mm -hmm. Um and like oh, like I'll put like an additional lumber mill and I'll just only have units that have, I won't have units that cost food. Yeah, 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 makes sense. Um, or I'll only have units that cost faith. Do you see what I mean? Like mm -hmm. for me, like the only, th I have to have six faith because I want to get to the tier three really. Yeah, yeah. Because some of these are actually not terrible. But actually, honestly, <laughs> do I really give a shit about, do I really give a shit about tier three at the moment? It seems pretty wank. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, apart from the giants, that's about it. Like, so, so is it worth me putting any faith builders in? Probably not. Yes, if you're happy with avoiding tier three, then go for it. Yeah, donation for uh, Aleph K. Hang in there, Steve. It'll all be over soon. Oh, thank you, guys. Um, thank you very much. I might, I might put in. No, no, this is all fine. I, I will put in a time rewind just in case, because sometimes. You don't draw enough settlers because you have to rely on that same settler to come back. Okay. More expensive, and sometimes you don't draw him. And so um, I will we'll put a time rewind in there just to, to even out my curve. And I feel like I can't really take on 
a, a difficulty three. I will take on a difficulty three. We're gonna fucking gamble it. Oh well, go for it. Right. Sure. Okay. So. Right. What I usually do is, obviously, I want to sell. Um, what I usually will do is th these are like free resource tile, right? Okay. So usually I will want to move something there, mm -hmm. but I usually also like to split up this this scout army at some point. So I'm just gonna fucking do that. Uh, so it's two food. Can't fault it. For a, for a free spell, so I'm gonna actually just cast that, and then I'm gonna cast a settler. I'm not gonna put the settler um, in these tiles because he might get attacked. Okay, and I'm just gonna move him over the border and settle straight away next turn. Okay. So that's my first turn, which is a pretty good turn. Um, I can move him over the border, and I can't actually sell right now, but I will sell. Um, yeah, I can't sell right now, but I will sell next turn. If I had done it, there's a little trick which I found. If you have a unit like this, right, over the border, mm -hmm. you can move him into that army, and then oh. he counts as joining the army, and then you can settle him straight away. Clever. So normally what I do is I drop a scout over the border on turn one, and I can... It's mm -hmm. very min maxy, Steve. <laughs> I can tell. Uh, we're gonna. I think we're just gonna take the tools and build a farm down here, and that will give us more food next turn. Okay, this is this is a good start. Uh, there is already a settlement in this region. Oh shit, that's bad. Sounds pretty bad. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, it's safe. We have to go into that region instead. So there's there's a, there's a settlement already here somewhere. There's a few guarding armies, but they look like pretty fucking piss easy. So you got a pig and some floating things. Yeah. Um, let's take another thing and let's build this number mill. Now we can only build two buildings in a settlement. Okay. Okay. These things here, like layers count as buildings, so you have to clear those out. Mm -hmm. So now I'm at building limit. I can't build any more farms or sell, even if I wanted to. And this used to be a big problem because in the game as it was before, you had to build the meeting hall to get the tier two cards, but but it, space it, was always at a premium. Um, I guess it's slightly easier now. Well, it's supposed to be, but I'm not convinced it is. Um, let's stick a guy in here and we'll build the cell. And then I think we will probably go up here and steal what's in here. Okay, cool. A gigantic sword. Uh, you will receive three actions if your army stops in this tile only once. Cool. That is a forsaken settlement that will spawn enemies in two days. Its combat difficulty is 87. And you have a 20 army. That feels pretty bad. Um, what we're going to do... Look in here and see if we can get any cards. We're going to take an archer. That's a big sword. Put an archer in here. We're going to take a... I think we're going to take another... Lumber mill. Because we're going to need to get nine tools and nine food. So I'm really going to need to like build up stuff. I think I'm just going to take on this army, actually, um, by moving... If I move here, I can fight both of them. But I think they go one at a time. So what is the giant sword on the map though? That giant sword is um, like a point where if you move onto it, you get three actions once okay. one, as a one-off. Let's start, see if we can spank this pig. It's going to sort of, we're going to use our scouts to erode its armor down. Um... And then we're going to try and make sure we finish it off with the um, the archer so he gets the experience. Okay, cool. So we want to just hit it with the scout. And then we can hit it with this archer. All right, that's, that's a good start. And that was the second fight, which I'm also ready for. A noon wraith sets enemies attack to half its base value until next hit. Tug again. You'd be fine. Everyone restores to full armor at the end of the fight, so we're usually like pretty fine. Yeah. Uh, Fall back, come out, and they attack. And 
melee. Right, he's going to attack. We have counter attack. No, we're not. Apparently, one damage. Oh fuck! Got, got that's kind of killed by him. Well, oh, that's my, that wasn't that was a stupid move by me. I just wanted to make sure this guy got experience. So now he attacks twice, mm -hmm. which is pretty big. Oh, the one that spawned is only nineteen. No, you're fine. Which is absolutely fine. I think I could even just take him on straight away. So we're going to move here. We're going to get our three extra actions. Oh, this thing's coming. That's not ideal. I didn't see that actually even there. Uh, we're going to take a dude. We're going to take... How much lumber have we got? Four. Okay. We're going to... We're going to work our farm. We're going to get this guy. Put him in there. And we're going to build a lumber mill. There. And then we're going to... Hopefully this guy can fight off that boar on his own. Uh, if not, fine. I don't know what to it's do. Throw a big axe. It's not a pig. It's fine. Okay. Good luck. Good luck, brave axeman. He has, a pretty he has fight. got better stats, so marginally better stats. Well, he doesn't have like, um, oh shit, he's fine. So the boar's going to attack him, and he's going to counterattack. Okay, Woo! one health, and then there's the other fight. But now I've got my. Um, Badass archer who could shoot twice. Oh fuck! But he can't shoot twice because I've not got any tools. Tools to actually use. Yeah, I'm so listening. Wasted them all. Bollocks. All right, sorry. This guy's gonna chip the armor down. Um. Fall back. I'll, I'll attack with the archer. Just to draw out the counter attack onto him instead, so this guy lasts longer. Okay. Always a good thing. Cool. Cool. Okay. More experience for our archer. Good. Good. This is all going spectacularly well, actually, currently. I'm very pleased about everything. I do, however, really need a flipping settler because it's getting really bad to not have one. I will take a farm. I can't build it anyway because I don't have enough building. Okay, we've got a donation from uh, Jamie Owls99. Lewis, if you like drinking gin and getting caught in the rain, if you're not into yoga, if you have a big brain, if you like making love at midnight in the dunes of the Cape, I'm the love that you're looking for. Write to me and escape. Less than three. Is that Jamie Owls99? It is indeed. Thank you very much. You do know that that's a song, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. But it's pina coladas rather than gin. Yes. I know the song. It's a good song. Mm. Let's give uh, let's give this guy a go. Bam. Spearman. I think he's pretty decent. Uh, so what does he skill up into? I don't even know. Uh, we're just going to give him some skills. That was just a crappy wolf. Uh, let's go here. All right, so we can buy things like this manuscript for two gold. I don't actually have two gold. Or I can just attack it. This looks like it would actually be pretty good to buy. Three Faith could be useful for unlocking tier two stuff. Oh, I don't have the gold. That's really annoying. thing is, this is kind of a weird game. Like, if, if you don't have the gold right now, <laughs> it's kind of awkward to do it. Because, like, I can't look at that mm -hmm. again. I have to move off it and then back on it, which oh, okay. costs two turns. Oh, it's such a fiddle. It'd be worth it to get that faith, though. Yeah, it is tricky to get three faith otherwise. I really, really want to scout, like, so bad. So, so bad. Oh, shit. Let's take this. Uh, I mean, a settler, there you go. That's what I wanted. Um, 
but unfortunately I can't do anything with it. What's this? A lair. Oh, what a ball ache. What a ball ache this is. A donation from the peach. Steve. Wales has been invaded by the English. You need to fight for the motherland and should come immediately. If needed, we can trigger a fire alarm to make you escape from this Brist Bristolian tyrant. Hashtag free Steve, hashtag Steve tip. <laughs> Thank you, the <laughs> peach. <laughs> um. I'm curious who's on the Oscast account, to be honest. Why? Because it's not me. Oh, right. Is there someone, someone chatting? I'm someone talking shit? Yeah. Well, there's no difference to normal, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take another spearman. Let's, let's work this farm and build ourselves a settler. Just admit, this game's got good music, though. I do like it. All right. I need one gold. Okay. I would buy that, and then I will attack you for my wasting my time. Assholes. Right, they've got a thrower, but we have a ranger now. Oh, he gets a free attack. If he wants a ranged attack every... Cheeky. Ranged attack. Free ranged attack. Bam! Dead guy. Nice. Suck it. Oh, look how powerful that is. See, this guy's just a pussy now. He's going to get fucking erect. I'm just going to continue hitting him. How much more actually do we need? 2 XP and he'll level up. We'll take it. Level 3 Archer. Look at that. Fucking perfect. And we got a coinage. You won't lose gold at the end of this turn spell. Kind of bad. Um, but that's fine. Let's take another card. A... Man. We're getting a lot of cards now, which is ideal. Hey, cards. Yay, cards. All right. Uh, what's this? Okay, cool. So, we're in a bit of a pickle. These two victory points require us to get nine tools within two days, and this one requires nine food within four days. So if we like spend all of our efforts getting together loads of tools, we could possibly hit that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like... That's Let's seven. Take for it. That is nine. Done. Cool. So we've actually hit our victory condition. Which is cool. We can spend six of them getting a new spearman. Who I feel like we should probably add to this army. Um, and then he can take out that lair next turn and we can build a lumber mill in that town. So let's do this. Okay. What's in here? It is a Dominic and a wolf. Send out the spearman. Do your do your worst, nerds. Okay. So they have to. They usually have to attack like the front, most unit. So if I weaken my guys, before, if I use my actions attacking from behind. <laughs> Sorry, chat. This game is now one percent complete. No, it's it's not. We're we're we are doing like God's work here. All right, let's. I think I need to get the farms. I need to get more food. So I need, still need to get this victory point, which is nine food in three days. I think I can do that, though. Because I can use um, this thing to gain me two food. Spell. Like you need was earlier. Nine food, is it? Oh, and there's a spell that gives me yeah. two food instantly. Sorry. So that is pretty good. Man, I mean, I'm in really good shape, Steve, for winning this one, I think. A cheap spearman. I will take it. Nice. Okay. Uh, what's this? You can buy useful cards here for three gold. Combat difficulty 34. I can gain two gold, which gives me three. And then I can also quickly shove in a new spearman into his army. Move there. Teleport one of your armies. Or choose seven neighboring tiles, summon a random animal for each two forests on those tiles. What? Or that one sounds mad. Choose seven neighboring tiles, summon a random animal for each... Every two forests on it. What, on my side? Yeah, they should definitely go for that one then. Or, not on my side. What have we got here? They've got a Wayfarer deploy sets this unit strength to be equal to the strongest unit on a board. Right, so I can't put my... I don't really have any good guys. 
Um, an animal dude and a basilisk. Attacks ignore armor. Mm, yuck. That's pretty bad. Maybe kill that one first. That's the... Fuck. Scary. Let's see if that tree moves when it moves then. Oh, he's weak already. Attacks ignore armor. Ugh, that is really, really bad. Well, this this guy's dead. Fuck him. He's only a scout. Wow, he spent his whole turn moving around. Hmm. Is that because this guy is like just horrible to deal with? Let's just chip his armor off. Well, the scout's dead. Shit. That's right, I can put this guy down. I would not want to be a scout in your army, Lou. <laughs> to be fair. Well, this looks fine, actually, because he's on... What? It does... Oh, wait, did he only have three health? Oh, I fucking... I've miscounted this badly today. Um... The basilisks are so brutal. She's going to attack, right? No. Okay. Jesus. He can attack. That's fine. She's going to attack. He's not going to die. Okay. Now I can attack this. Oh, God. Okay. She's going to attack. He's going to counterattack. She's not dead, though. He's going to be dead. Okay. This is fine. She's. N they're nearly dead. We don't really want our archer to be here, so let's kill her with the archer. Waste of experience. Well, this is this has gone horribly. Fortunately, our archer is fucking a bit of a badass. Um, why is he blue though? I don't get why the level up they turn blue. I don't know either. It's that like some Game of Thrones shit, right here. If they both attack, then we're in trouble. No! Fuck! You're fucked. I am fucked. No, you're actually fine. No, We've won, good. but at what cost? At the cost of my archer. Oh, piss. We lost. Oh! And I lost. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, shit. Went well. I thought, I thought he had enough to survive at here. Uh, there's just over 10 minutes left. Oh, god damn it. Can you pull it back in 10 minutes, though? What does this do? This thing summons a thing for every forest. So what, if I summon it here, it will do five? No. It gave me a boar and a wolf. We did it! Still something. A I boar guess. and a wolf. I mean, I... Oh, and another fucking army comes out of here. All right. No, we're fine, Steve. I mean, we're good. We've, 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 we've had worse than this. Let's get this food. And then this food, and we'll get our quest done. Um, we'll build a new archer, and we'll start leveling it up. And that's the end of our turn. Oh, shit, we got all this food and fucking nothing to do with it. <sighs> Should we? Oh, a settler. A warrior. I feel like we need to put our armies together. So let's do that. 56, okay. That's not bad. Cool. Um, we can use these chumps because they're pretty crappy. And Oh, it's, what is this? Just a shield bearer and nothing else. You can find them. He automatically attacks after deploying. I can't really do anything about that. I think when a wolf has a thing, a skill called how, if I use a faith, all my other animals attack. Which is quite fun. That's pretty cool. So he can fall back and put himself out again, at which point he'll charge, which is quite fun. But we're going to get some help. Oh, yeah, this is, this is very straightforward. Um... We want to make sure we get these skill points on my archer. <laughs> so I just want to make sure I add this, don't don't kill this guy. Fuck it, we'll just put this guy out. 
and then 10. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you got this. All right. So we're just going to play this, this guy. And then turn. He's going to attack. All right. Yeah, sorry. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. That's three points. I just want a double shooting archer for the last boss. That's all. I feel like that's quite an important thing to have. Um, we're going to go and scout over here. And we really need to get this settler online. So let's build a settler. We'll put him here. And then we're going to just jump him over and build him straight away next turn. And we kind of want to um, get the bonus settler. So that's what we're going to do. Time warp. <coughs> and then we're going to have a card. Uh, we will have a... God, that's bad. I shouldn't pick that. Never mind. Um, we're going to fucking add tier two cards to our deck because we really should have done that a while ago. We're going to build here. Oh, they fi they've patched it out. They're no longer allowing me to do it, which feels like a good idea. Uh, Axeman. Axeman. Okay. These guys are actually attacking, which is a fine, fine thing to deal with. I've got a settler in my army. <laughs> Blue, think you can win this uh, this whole thing in just over five minutes? Holy shit, my wolf just died in one shot. That's pretty sad. Um, I reckon. What this? What this whole this whole campaign? Well, this you know the your, this level, I guess, if you want to call it that. Oh Jesus. Okay. Don't kill me. Ah, you bastard. That's alright, we got this. This level, I reckon we can win this level, yeah, like, no probs. Um. Yeah, chat, I would read donations, but we are completely up to date, so. There are no donations to read. Thank you, Steve. You've been, you've been very helpful. Thank you. I feel it. Okay. And then we get this guy. And we fin finish my fuck. Okay. It's weird that dead things don't leave the battlefield there then. It is weird that they just, just sort of pile up. But there are some like zombies that eat corpses. Oh, okay. Um, which might be why that's that's in. Uh, do you know what I really need? Some flipping farms, boy. Your donation from the peach. Lewis, is there a possibility of you... Oh, something bad just happened. Uh-oh. Is the stream dead? Stream dead. Rip. Rip stream. Oh, God. That's what happens. That's what happens when we lose Steve. Oh, Steve's... I might. We might still be live. We screensaver. It's just a sc it's just a screensaver, says Steve. No props, everyone. Panic, panic's over. It's all good. Don't cool. panic. Anyway, donation from the Peach. Lewis, is it a possibility of you playing this game on a 24-hour live stream? I would love to watch a stream like that. I'm sure most of the chat agrees. Steve would enjoy it as well. Please make this happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to bow out of that one, I think, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm, Steve, you sure? I'm, I'm busy that day. Really? It's a shame because, you know. I don't know when it is, but I'm definitely think I'm going to be busy that day. Good, good. S sad, 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 sad. <laughs> Almost sad. early. Um, what do I want to get? Yeah, we got five minutes. Five minutes of stream. Mm. Of full, non stop streaming action. What could we possibly do? I feel sorry for Niles, you probably have to follow this stream. I well, precisely, Steve. It's like fucking good stuff, this. Yeah, this is, this is top world here. Anyone following this stream would have a hard time, I think. Steve? 
What? None of your sarcasm, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Stephen. I'm not sarcastic. I'm never sarcastic, ever. Uh huh. I'm just straight shooting, you know me. All right, in you go. Uh, uh, if you want to donate, there is a thing on the Twitch page that gives you a link to where to donate. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to get this. So let's just get some gold and then I can upgrade one of my boys. Yeah? Okay. Uh, who needs... Who needs to be better? Who needs to be stronger? You do. <sighs> Fucking hell. All right. Is he strong enough to take this on? This is going to be a really tough battle, but I reckon I might be able to do it. So I just keep adding more units to the fire. Um, I need an additional, addition, I can put a footman in, <coughs> and then I can get a lumber mill, and I can put a spearman in, and then I've got a full stack. Donation from Seychelles. How much to replace this with a different game? Kappa. Kappa. Uh, all right. We're going to go in with... Oh shit, I used all of my tools. I really shouldn't have used all my tools. Such bad play. Heavy infantry archer. Cool. Donation from Akawise. I actually enjoyed this stream. There's a nice dynamic with you two. Less than three. No, well, well, thank oh, you. Oh, thank you, Akawise. For joining me. It's been a, it's been, it's been know, a pleasure. It's been, been good, good to have you here. Oh, God, crap, you can do four? Since when can you do four? I didn't even know you could do four. I don't know. Wow, you can do four. Maybe with the new update? The new update? Let's just start destroying this armor. Alright. Why would he attack melee? Oh god, that repairs armor, doesn't it? Alright. Let's start attacking. Get rid of this guy's armor. Oh my god. He gave him an extra go. Oh, that's really bad. Four attacks. That's uh, not fair. That is that is not fair, is it? That's not fair at all. Give me a break. I'm speechless with how unfair that is. Uh, right, Andy, nothing's wrong with Lewis's neck. It's fine. It's, it hurts. <laughs> my neck hurts. Please send help. I think it's just anyone over the age of 25 neck, neck hurts Lou. Oh, my pig leveled up. Hey, That's pretty funny. Looks exactly the same. Uh, oh, shit. There's fucking Axeman right at the front there for this guy. Attack an enemy with a high strength. Oh, God. I need to get some of these guys out of here. Of course, they're going to die. Fuck it. Pig, you're in. Oh. Yeah, apparently Strippin's having a baby. A baby? Yeah, Dodge is pre pregnant. He's pregnant, is he? Apparently, yeah. Fucking who knew? Right. Oh my god. Everyone's leveling up. Oh my god, this guy's about to die. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> He's got a fat urge yet. Okay. Yeah, we have one minute left, Lou. Good, Steve. Thank you for keeping, keeping us all up to date on this. It's fine. It's Saturday night and I'm... I'm gonna go home and get drunk. Cool. We'll have a nice time, won't you? I always do. I'm gonna do this. This is mm. pretty. This is pretty good. Like we're pretty close to to, to this now. This guy's dead. Yeah, I recently this got into Jägermeister dead. as well. Jägermeister, Steve. Yeah, it took me until the 28 to get into Jägermeister. I feel like that's I do just the right time. I still prefer uh, Sambuca, though. To be fair, so. Sambuca. Sambuca is lovely. Right. I know more. I'm working tomorrow, it's fine. Jesus. Angle, Tom Clark is now playing Creeper World 3. Fucking Tom. Straight home. 
Straight home onto Creeper World 3. That's why you had to leave. Um, no, you had things to do. Right. Uh, donation from Cheesy Moon Zap. Don't play this game again. I was watching it with my gran, and it was just too po too much pog champs for her. Less than three. It's good to know. Well, thanks for the update. Because I mean, it's useful for you guys to let me know these things. Donation from Save Steve. Live update. Lewis's hand is still glued to his neck. Oh, it was literally a second ago. I'm gonna head back to the studio now. All right, uh, Steve. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. That's okay. I'm See you again, chat. This this scenario is almost over, Steve. So we're gonna. People are gonna love, love it when it. Nazi is on next. Yes, after after this. I will. Uh, yeah. I will. I look forward to that. Okay. Cool. Right. There is an undead army attacking me. That's the final. That's the final boss. Um. I need to kill it, and I also need to kill this thing. But if I kill this, then I will probably win. So, let's see if we can do that, shall we? Um, let's take the Faith, and we'll take a healer. And we need some food, really, or we don't really have anything, actually. Um, none of this is helpful to us. All right, we're going to have to let this thing move for a turn and probably try and attack us, but m it might not attack us. It might, however, attack us. Oh, shit. All right. All right. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're still alive. Um, right, this thing needs to to die. Um, so what can we possibly recruit to help us kill it? A footman. A footman in the army. We need three gold. Can we get three gold? Two gold. Two gold. Okay, let's upgrade this army's thing by one. And we'll put it on the... On one of these guys, I think these guys are going to be coming down first. All right, I've got five tools, so let's fight this. Fucking hell, nine damage. Holy shit, that's such a lot of damage. Nine damage. He's just gonna fucking one shot one of my things. I think I might just lose here. Um, I mean, th these guys do additional damage to armor, and if I reduce his armor, then he's gonna he's gonna hit less. But the lowest I can get him in one turn is seven um, by playing this and then shooting. See what I mean? But then it basically is dead. Still, let's do that. Okay, so he played both blacksmiths. Uh, cool. I think we just keep shooting. Oh, God. Well, the golem healed an armor. Okay, I'm all right. I think we just have to keep firing as much as we can to reduce the incoming damage. We're going to lose our archer, but once it's... Once it's... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, God, it's we're fucked. This guy's... <laughs> it's just it's just too much damage. This these guys heal all of their stuff. And these guys will counterattack for eight. So if I just attack with either of these guys, they're dead. I feel so bad. 
Oh god. Well, I think I think I think it's probably all over, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. What's up, Steve? You're just gonna run some ads, all right? Thank you, Steve. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, it's so brutal. It's so brutal. This beatdown. There's, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. These guys just hit, like, so hard. They just... <laughs> right, well. Well, now I have a settler versus two fucking ghosts. This doesn't look like it's going to end well for me, does it? So I didn't really, I didn't even manage to kill one of their things. So I, I need to get 36 victory points, right? That's all. But the cursed army is like 16 of those. If I can kill this army, I get 16, which will really push me over the edge. So you can win these scenarios without killing the cursed army. But... I really need to be better at colonizing. Like, if I'd, if I'd been much more proactive, if, I, if I'd, like, colonized this, colonized this, I might have even been able to win without having to fight this army. Because I, I was really good at getting those two, but I didn't use them very well. Um, all right. Well, listen. We do have to end the stream. Nalzi is coming up. And ads are playing right now. Um, so if you are subbed and you're still watching, thank you. Um... Jam, Top Jam Man says, Hi, Lewis, you're amazing. Loving the stream and all your vids. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Top Jam Man. I will just ch quickly check if there's any more messages for me to read out before I have to go. Um, we're good. We're good. Thank you, everyone. Um, see you in the week. I'll be playing something t on Monday um, at 2 o'clock. We might finish the Civ game we started last week. Um, I'll talk to Duncan and reading about it. And then Wednesday, I'm obviously doing Battle Boys. Thursday, I am doing um, Lewis and Men Save the World. And then I'm going on holiday to Australia. So thanks, everyone. See you soon. Goodbye.